Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still on engineering science and three uh, working on friction. We have got a question that we are going to focus on uh, for our November 2020 question paper. We are given on 4.1 to differentiate between static uh, friction and kinetic friction. So to differentiate, that is to give a difference between the two. Uh, that is uh, just define the two. That is what you are simply given. Okay. So the static friction, uh, it actually opposes uh, the initial movement, uh, the force then required to just move the object is called static friction. Okay, so it opposes the initial movement. So therefore we can say that the force then required is just uh, to just move the object is our static friction, okay? Which is the same thing with this kinetic uh, friction that is the force then required to keep the object in motion is the kinetic whereby we are representing the one that opposes the force opposing the movement after the body is in motion. Okay, so there's a movement when you are referring to kinetic, then uh, uh, static, there is no movement at all. It's it, it, at, stand, at stand still, okay? So that's what we are uh, given in this case. Then on 4.2, we are given now that there is a block with a mass of 0 0.25 ton rest on an inclined, uh, inclined plane at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. Determine each of the following if the frictional force is 2,000 Newton. Okay, so this is one of the direct questions that we have under friction where we are just given uh, a simple incline, like the, this one is just a simple incline, guys, okay? So there's a mask, an object like this nature. Uh, so we've got um, uh, inclined vision. In this case, we've got uh, an angle of uh, 20 degrees. So remember, it was inclined at 20 degrees. So this is the object that we are given. So if it is given at rest, so it is actually going this way. It's going down uh, to the plane. So that will be your parallel component in this case, all right, down to the plane. Uh, your parallel component, uh, which is your FS, okay? Then the one that opposes, that's your frictional force. And uh, according to this angle, okay, so we shall have direct due to the ninth somewhere. Let's just have it this way. All right, so this will be our perpendicular force, which is our FC. Uh, okay, so this is our FC, which is W cos of theta. Uh, here we can also indicate that our FS, which is the parallel components, is W sine of theta. The theta that we are referring is the 20 degrees, which is the angle that is between our FC and our W in this case. If we take this one, down to the ground, that would be our FG here. There's an angle of 20 degrees in between. All right, so that's our 20 degrees. So the mass here, we are given a mass of uh, 0 0.25 ton. So 0 0.25 ton, if we uh, to convert this to kgs, remember a ton has got one kg, 1,000 kg, sorry. So if we've got 1,000 kgs, what about uh, 0 0.25 tons? We're going to multiply by uh, 1,000 which will be 250 kgs if you multiply by 1,000. So here we have got a mass of 250 kgs. So this is our mass, okay, which is the object, okay? So uh, the first equation, like I said, this is very, very direct. Uh, the component of weight of the object the perpendicular to the plane, which is this FC, the one that is perpendicular. So FC is W cos of theta. So we can just substitute our information. So that's 4.21. So FC, if it is W cos of theta, remember that W is equivalent to mg, that is mass times what? Gravitational acceleration. So we can substitute the mass uh, of 250 kgs. So that's 250 times 9.8 times the cos of the angle of 20 degrees. Okay, so that's you guys and your calculator. Uh, you're going to obtain 2,302,247. So this is comma 247 in Newton. So we have got our uh, perpendicular component in this case, which is FC, or you can write it as F perpendicular like this. That's perpendicular. Okay, so that's what we had in this case on 4.21. 4.2 two 
we are now given here the component of weight of the block parallel to the plane. So the parallel is this one, this is your plane, and parallel, you've got your FS. So this is the parallel component, which is FS. So this can be given even as FX. Guys, there are so many ways of writing this. Okay, so your FS is equivalent to W sine of theta, where we say W represents mg sine theta. So that will be mass of 250 times the gravitational acceleration of 9,8 sine theta, which is the angle of uh, 20 degrees. All right, so if you simplify this properly, we are going to obtain 837 comma nine four nine newton just check if the values are corresponding with the ones that you're obtaining from your calculator guys okay then after that on 4.23 we are now required to calculate the smallest force required to pull the block downwards along the plane so we need f down in this case okay remember that f down is the difference between the frictional force and the parallel component all right, so this is a 4.23. Uh, All right, so we said F down, which is the smallest force going downwards, is equivalent to the frictional force minus uh, the parallel component in this case, which is our FS or F parallel. Okay, so remember we are given the frictional force before here that our frictional force is to be taken as 2,000 Newton. So we are going to subtract that from 2,000 the FS. So this is going to be 2000 minus FS, which is 837,949. Okay, so if you subtract, you are going to obtain 1162,051. So this is what you're going to have, guys, in Newton. Okay, then uh, the last part of the question, which is uh, question 4.24, the coefficient of friction. Remember, we are given the frictional force. So we can actually obtain the coefficient of friction from the formula. Uh, remember that the coefficient of friction is to be taken as the frictional force over the parallel over the perpendicular, which is our FC. So this is our frictional force over the perpendicular component, the force that is perpendicular, which is our FC. So that means uh, we are going to have, remember our frictional force is the one that we had before, which is 2000. So that's 2000 over the perpendicular component of 2302,247. So that will actually give us the coefficient of friction, which is going to be 0, 0.869 to three decimal places. Okay, so that's what we had, guys, as simple as this. These are very, very uh, direct questions, but make sure that you do not uh, confuse these formulas and also the values take your values properly according to the given information okay so that's what you had guys on friction from Amazon African motives till we meet again